And meanwhile, the residents along the coast are doing what they can to prepare for Hillary as it gets closer and closer to us here. As Kai mentioned, Hillary is beginning to weaken a bit, but still expected to dump some heavy rain and cause flooding across the region before it's gone. Our Chip Yost is live in Long Beach, where he spoke with people who had to evacuate Catalina Island ahead of the storm. Chip. Yeah, hey there, Karina and Rick. We are at this beach parking lot here in Long Beach, and it has been a very busy parking lot. We're at Claremont and Ocean, and there has been a steady stream and long lines of people coming in here all day to get some sandbags filled with the help of some city workers, lifeguards, and others. This, as the city is also preparing to take in evacuees from Catalina Island. Many of the people getting off the Catalina Express in Long Beach Saturday evening had to cut their vacations to the island short because of the oncoming storm. We scold to stay there in Catalina two days, uh, then they ask us to leave as fast as possible. I mean, they just said we should probably leave the island uh, today and before the storm hits tomorrow. So we figured let's get on the express. So you're supposed to stay through Sunday and you're like, uh, maybe not. Yeah, exactly. We usually, we were, I think we were leaving, what, Sunday night, Sunday evening. And so we were like, let's just head out a little early. Better safe than sorry. Yeah, exactly. Better safe than sorry. Yeah. Residents of the island who weren't prepared to deal with power outages or who have medical issues have also been encouraged to leave. This emergency evacuation center at Silverado Park in Long Beach has been set up for them. We're prepared for the residents of Avalon should they need the support from the city of Long Beach. At the same time, the city was busy taking care of its own residents. Here at this beach parking lot at Ocean and Claremont, steady lines of people gathered all day, packing sandbags for themselves and others. Uh, just here getting sandbags, getting prepared. Um, we don't really know, you know how bad it's going to be, so I'd rather be safe than sorry. During these times, we need to be kind for each other and help each other out. Berms have also been set up on the beach as everyone waits to see what Hillary will do. Is there kind of more concern about the rain coming down or is it more from the water, from the tides coming in from the ocean? I think it's a combination of everything. I think the idea is we really don't know the trajectory of the storm. I think that is going to continue to unfold over the next 24 hours and as that happens we'll have to adjust and, and act accordingly. As you can see people still out here this late hour getting sandbags as you look at them let me give you a couple of other updates we've heard about in Silverado Canyon and Williams Canyon in Orange County they are under an evacuation warning that is a voluntary evacuation warning also the state beaches in Orange County and San Diego County have been closed because of the oncoming storm. As for the sand in this parking lot, uh, you can see there are some folks here. They have shut down the operation as far as the city and everyone lifeguards helping them out and the bags are being taken away right now. But if you do have your own bags, we're told you can come here and do some self service, if you will, and fill up your bags with the sand they have on hand. Otherwise, they will be back here tomorrow at around 730 in the morning doing the same thing again. For now, reporting live here in Long Beach, I'm Chip Yost, KTLA 5 News. All right, Chip, we thank you so much.